did you say something? Dude! What's wrong with this plan? Have you ever been sitting around your house and you just thought to yourself, man, I really want to watch a video about a guy getting kicked out of an airport for farting too much? Don't worry, you don't even have to answer that question because I know the answer is yes. That's why I've brought this video to you. You're welcome. Today, we're going to be visiting our friends over at Totally Studios and we'll be watching what is one of the greatest videos ever made by man. A farting guy stinks up airport and is kicked off plane. Now, when I first saw this, I figured it had to be some sort of parody of Darman videos. But after watching through it, um, no, they are legitimately trying to pass this off as a real life lesson. What that life lesson is, uh, I, I don't really know. But I guess it's time to find out. Let's begin. Please subscribe. I can't believe we got a free trip to England. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you're a world class athlete. World class athletes? All we did was win the national burrito eating competition. Yeah, and that's a big deal. That's why we're going to the world championships. Well, all I know is, who can turn down a free trip? Yeah, it's gonna be a gas. <laughs> What? Is that supposed to be some sort of wordplay? Instead of saying it's gonna be a blast? That doesn't even make sense. That's just a poorly inserted joke for the context of the video. You're better than this, Totally Studios. I don't know about you, man, but I kind of got heartburn from eating that fast. Not me. What you need is some relief. Ew. Did that guy just fart? Uh, I think you need this more than me. Nah, I'm good. Mine doesn't smell. Either the people writing this are the most self-aware people on the planet, and they realize how terrible this is, or they're taking this script seriously and they think this is some sort of good production. I really don't know what situation would be funnier. You know, Chelsea, I haven't flown in a long time. Yeah, a lot of people have skipped it in the past couple years. Why aren't we taking the train? It's so much more enjoyable. There are no trains from here to England, Grandma. Yeah, I noticed. Where are the propellers? This woman looks like she's in her 70s and they're acting like she's 175 years old. I mean, I'm pretty sure commercial airplanes have not used propellers since like the 60s. Don't think a person of this age would be this confused in a modern airport. <sighs> Hot dogs? Is that all they got? No, man. I got us chili dogs. You know what? I still have some heartburn. I'm gonna save this for later. Okay, man. It's your choice. It's a long flight, you know. Dude, are you sure you should be eating this? Mm-hmm. Russell's having a bad gas attack at the worst time possible. I wonder if the chili dog will calm his stomach. Ugh, oh, he just did it again! My god, okay, I get it. It's not the most polite thing to do in a public airport. But these people are acting like he's dropping his pants and urinating on a flight attendant or something. I mean, come on, it's just a few farts. I think you'll survive. Man, that was good. <sighs> really? Are you gonna eat yours? Okay, so I know I was just talking about how those people got a little bit too angry about the farts, but this guy right here seems a little bit too happy about him. I mean, come on, man. Every time this guy releases the crack and you get a big smile on your face. Can't say that's what I deem a normal reaction. Well, we must be getting ready to leave. Because I smell jet fuel. No. It smells more like a gas station bathroom to me. Where are our seats? Oh, row 23, right there. I consider myself a pretty mature person, but I'm not gonna lie. I had to sit here and recover for a second from how hard I laughed at that quick little double poot. Don't know why, but that got me. Ugh. Ugh. Mom, Dad, that's that guy from the terminal. Yeah, yeah we, we know. know. Wow, what a space. Yeah, it's so nice having empty middle. <sighs> hey man, you could really use one of these. Nah man, I'll just rub it into the seat. 
<laughs> you know, I'm really starting to question the validity of whatever sort of lesson we're supposed to be getting out of this. I mean, literally all we've seen from this entire video is one guy just absolutely ripping ass, and then a bunch of writers making fun of old people. I mean, I really don't see anything of value here, I gotta be honest. But hey, we gotta stay positive, maybe it's coming up. Dude! What's wrong with this plan? How potent are this man's farts that they're just lingering for minutes? Is it just a constant stream of gas coming out? I mean, that's the only logical explanation I see. At some point, you'd think he'd run out. You're in row 23, and I'm right behind you in row 24. Well, at least we're close. Did you say something? This video keeps going back and forth in my head as being the dumbest thing I have ever watched in my life to being the funniest thing I have ever watched in my life. Some of the writing is just so spot on that it actually makes me laugh, but the rest of it is just so terrible that I don't know if I can give it credit. Passengers, prepare for takeoff. Please make sure your tray tables are in the upright and locked position and make sure your seatbelts are securely fastened. Why is this guy even acting like he's shocked anymore? I mean, you have absolutely blasted this entire airport and this airplane. You've got to know it's coming by now. Was it not you just a minute ago saying you're just going to rub it into the seat? Oh, it sounds like we're taking off. Yep, that's right. We're, we're taking off. No, Grandma. I think something else is taking off. Hey, Gabriel, do you have that extra chili dog? Uh, yeah. You sure you want this? <laughs> Hold on, wait, is this a gas effect implying that there is so much fart in this airplane cabin that it's starting to become visible? Yeah, at this point, I think there'd be some sort of mutiny in any real life situation. This guy is getting kicked off the airplane. Also, if somebody tries to bust out a chili dog next to me in an airplane, I'm gonna have to fight somebody. Yeah, what do you expect me to do without food? Something on this plane smells really bad. Oh, that's the jet fuel. Oh, I got an upset stomach. Oh, hold this. Gotta use the bathroom. Huh? What's this? Low oxygen in a cabin? The sensor must not be working. Russell's gas is so bad that it's messing up the oxygen sensors on the plane. Okay, so... Obviously, this is one of the dumbest situations ever thought up in human history. But can you imagine if this is the way you went out? Some dude next to you ate so many burritos and so many chili dogs that it caused the plane to malfunction and you all crashed. I mean, if there was ever a reason to haunt in the afterlife, that would be it. Uh, excuse me, Miss Flight Attendant Lady? Yes, how can I help you, sir? I think there's something alive in your bathroom. Alive? What do you mean? Y you know, I've said too much already. You need to just go check it out. Wait, wh what? Are we about to have a snakes on a plane situation in this bad boy? Maybe it was some sort of creature fighting to get out of this man's stomach. It all makes sense. Deploy oxygen masks. What? Oxygen masks aren't working. Alexa. Yes, Captain. I'm afraid we have a problem with the oxygen on the plane. No oxygen? Yes, I need you to make an emergency announcement. What's wrong? You stay here. I'll fill you in in a minute. Passengers, due to an unexpected aircraft malfunction, we're going to have to make an emergency landing. Okay, so the rest of the video is them having to make an emergency landing in Greenland, them showing a stock footage video of a plane landing in snow, and then they get back on the plane and go to London. And, uh, well, that's where the video ends. I, I don't know what the point of this video was. I don't know if the writers just thought it was funny, but there was no resolution. There was no overarching message. This was just a, uh, 
a disappointment. Well, guys, I, uh, I don't, I really don't even know what we just watched. I really thought it was gonna be some sort of life lesson, but I guess it was just a funny fart joke video. Uh, you're welcome, I guess. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.